Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 9th, and it is a cool and cloudy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. I haven't quite gotten to 70 yet this morning. It's a little bit humid. Probably going to rain a little, which is fine. The garden could use that, so we will see how the day doth progress. Up, progress. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> so it's a, it's, it's a, interesting day today I'm uh, going to be talking a little bit about my revisiting my method of sealing tobacco tins and we will get to that but uh, I'm also pretty excited because in an hour or two uh, the Phillies are going to be playing the Mets in London not that I care that much that it's London or anything I just like the idea of watching a baseball game at 10 o'clock in the morning so it's pretty cool And I'm not going to do very much today because I had a busy day yesterday and I think I tweaked my back. So we will see how the day progresses. Up to progress. So, sealing tobacco tins. I, uh, oh, by the way, I've got my doodler here and I am smoking Haunted Bookshop this morning. It is a new month. We did choose a new tobacco of the month on Friday, the Friday Night Live Stream, the tobacco of the month, chosen by you, the viewers of the Friday Night Live Stream. Love doing that. And that is Warhorse Bar, and War I've had a couple of tins, a uh, couple of tins, a couple of bowls of this uh, since Friday, and uh, it's good. And I want to get to know it a little bit better. So the way I'm going to handle the tobacco of the month is I'm going to open it on Friday night, smoke it on Friday night, and then uh, spend a week with it before I talk in any detail about it here on the Sunday chats. So. We'll be talking about War Horse Bar probably next week if I've got enough time to really get to know it. But something came up as I was going through the tins, uh, and I've noticed this before, but it's getting to be a bit of a problem. Uh, and that is my sealing method has gone south on me. So years ago I made a video about the use of this product. This is called Parafilm. And you can get this from scientific supply companies. I think you can get it on eBay. Uh, and it's it's really cool stuff. Very useful. I, I, I know about it because I'm a lab scientist, or was a lab scientist. Now I'm a manager. But, um, and we would use this all the time to, like, seal Petri dishes and things like that. So, of course, I can't get the darn stuff to separate now. <laughs> Just give me a moment while I get this to separate. I cut off too small of a piece, and I can't really see what I'm doing. Right, one more time. There we go. So it comes, it's a, almost like a, a piece of wax, in a sense. Boy, this does not want to, I tore it, but I just cannot get the paper to separate from this. Compelling video, I'm sure. I will put a link down below to my original video on this, but my good, there we go. So <laughs> it's a it's a wax-like material that comes covered with this paper that you have to separate and peel off. So paper is trash, and this stuff is very stretchy, and it sticks to itself. So if you and wrap it around like that, and I'm, it's stuck to my finger. Uh, it comes off quite easily. But it, it really is very good at sealing things like Petri dishes and uh, 96 well plates, if you know what those are. It, it's a lab product, uh, but it's got a lot of uses, and I bought it many years ago uh, from, I think, Carolina Biologics, because I liked using it so much in the lab that I thought I would have uses for it here in the shop. And then one day I got the idea to use it to seal tins. And it worked great for quite a while. So here's a, a, a tin of uh, Balkan Sobrani that's been sealed with it. And what I would do is I would take a piece about yay long and wrap it around two to three times and it, it sticks to itself and it was done. So again, I will link to the, to the original video down below. And I have tins that I sealed like that years ago that look great. Problem is I ran out and reordered some 
maybe a year, a year and a half ago, and didn't really think much about it. And then when I was looking through tins, I started to notice this was happening. I don't know if you can see the split in that. And it's interesting, this did not happen with any of the tins that I had sealed like four years ago, but the ones that I sealed in the past year and a half to two years are doing this. I think the products changed. Uh, I don't know, but I think it's changed, which is a shame. Uh, here's another one. This is a tin of black house, and you can see just how bad this has gotten. So this is not good. And I guess, first and foremost, don't go out and buy a parafilm if you don't already have it, because it's, 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 there's a problem here. Secondly, I need to sort of rethink this method. And I got a couple of possibilities in mind. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use these two tins as a test. So this first one is some Balkan Sobrani. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think, because I don't think I have it labeled, unfortunately. But I think this was sent to me by my buddy, uh, Brad, uh, Pipes and Kayaks, if you remember him. Uh, he's been on Instagram as Pipes and Stooges. He changed his name. Um, Brad's a great guy. I haven't, haven't talked to him in a while. I have to try to get in touch with him. So, yeah, I don't have this labeled any other way, so I think this was Brad. If it wasn't, my apologies to the person that did send it to me. I should have put a should have put a name on it, but yeah, taking the parafilm off. So I'm going to try a method on this using parafilm. And then I've got this other tin. This is a uh, 10th anniversary black house. And this was sent to me by uh, Ghost Cop. So thank you, Sean. So this needs to be sealed as well, obviously. So I'll take the parafilm off of this one. Okay, so they're both clean. And what I'm going to do is, on one of these, I'm going to just use like two to three times more parafilm than I normally would. And we'll see if that makes a difference. And I'm going to try to do this in a way where you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it might not work so well. So normally, I would use about that much. I'm going to... Let's double that. We we'll use that much. So this may quickly become non-economical, but I got a thing of this to use, so I might as well try it out. The other thing that I've noticed with this, as you may have noticed uh, earlier, is that it's gotten a lot harder to separate the paper from the wax. And I don't know what's going on there, but again, I think this has changed. Got this one going a bit easier. All right, so all you have to do with this, and this is kind of the beauty of it, we'll, we'll do the black house with this. You anchor it. So I've got it kind of folded over, and I'm just holding it in place. And then you just pull and stretch. And that's that. So what we will do is we will put this aside and we will we'll put it aside. It's cellared. It's by definition put aside. Uh, but I'm going to check on this. I'm going to keep an eye on this and, and check it every month or so and see if it splits since it's got at least, well, it's got a double layer on it now. So that's one test that I'm doing. And really, I'm only doing that because I got so much of this stuff, and, and I can, um, that I'm guessing that's not going to work. So I do need an alternative. 
But I've been thinking about it, and you know, some folks use the HVAC tape, and I've got a couple of tins that people have sent me that are sealed with that, and it's great. It, it seems to last, uh, hold up really well. I don't know why, but I've got some concerns about the air tightness of that, and I think I read something about it at some point in the past, which is why I've never used it myself. But honestly, that might just be a an uneducated bias. I don't know. But I don't have any of that tape on hand, um, and it may well... If neither of these methods work out, I may well go to that. Um, we'll see. I don't honestly remember why I was opposed to doing that in the first place. Maybe I just like to try different things. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I'm going to try, and this was recommended to me by my friend Corey, uh, sent me an email. And it was the funniest thing. He said, you know, for sealing my tins, I use this, this, this tape. And he sent me a link. And I went and I looked on Amazon. I was like, I got that right in front of me. I mean, I, I, I use this all the time. So this is called uh, hockey tape. It's by, by a company called Renfew. Renfew, R-E-N-F-R-E-W. And I will put a link in the comments for this, in the description. I don't do affiliate links, so it'll just be a straight link to Amazon, and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, I use this a lot, so I don't remember how, so I used, I've used hockey tape forever. I almost always have a roll of this kind of hockey tape, you know, this black cloth stuff. Uh, I keep it in my car. I keep it with my fishing equipment. This is just handy stuff. Um, this is, this has been a band-aid on more cuts than I can tell you. Uh, this and super glue have saved me many times. Well, not saved me. I wasn't going to die from the cut, but you know, it allowed me to get back to work quickly. Uh, when fishing, it's really useful. You can do quick repairs with it. If you if you cut yourself or something, you know, it's 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 quick and easy uh, bandage. It's just an incredibly useful thing to have. So I always have some of this, and I use it quite a bit in my pipe work. Uh, just. That's not a very neat example because this needs to be replaced, but this is a scraper that I made out of a, uh, a triangular file, and you can see it's got handles on it made of the hockey tape. It, it makes great replacement of handles. This other stuff, the, the Renfew clear tape, is sort of softer, so this is a handle on the end of a file that I often have in my palm, and it's just to keep that from digging into my palm. It's soft, it's a little stretchy, it's flexible, it holds up really well, it's tough, and uh, it's sticky. And I had never thought to use this on a, on a tobacco tin. This stuff wouldn't work because it's, it's a cloth, but this is actually a pretty good idea. So Corey uses it, and he said, try it out, and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. And uh, hey, we'll do it live. Well, not live, but so. I'm going to get the, nothing's working today. I'm going to get the roll started. And this is a, it's a very nice thick tape. Um, you can't really appreciate the thickness probably, but it's tough. And I'm going to just start this and I'm going to just go with a, a single layer, but I'm going to overlap it a couple inches just to make sure it sticks. So I'm just rolling this around the tin. And I'm, I'm stretching it as I go. Now, this doesn't stretch as much as parafilm, but you can get it to stretch a bit. Just want to make sure it overlaps that lip. And scissors. You do need scissors when you use this because it is very tough. There we go. Now that actually looks really good. That's you can't you can't even really see it, but um, and you can see where I overlapped it there. It's it's about three inches of overlap. So it's a single layer, but three inches of overlap. My guess is this is going to work really well because this tape is is very. Very long lasting and I've not seen it unravel or anything like that. So we will put this 
with this and we'll watch both of them over the coming months and see which one wins. My guess is the hockey tape is going to win hands down. So again, if you're interested, I'm just testing it. I'm not, I'm not recommending it uh, as a method, although my buddy Corey says it works great and I don't see any real reason why it wouldn't. So I'll, I'll put the Amazon link down below if you're interested. Uh, this stuff you can find anywhere. Uh, honestly, this is... <laughs> if, if I didn't have this, I don't think I'd be able to do half the things I've done in my life because it's just so darn useful. Um, I'm not a hockey fan, but I love the hockey tape. Uh, so, hope you found that at least entertaining, if not informative. Uh, and, you know, it's a shame about the parafilm. Because it worked well for a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, it's, something's changed. So, plans for today. Uh, I'm going to watch the Phillies play. Uh, I just like watching them early in the day like that. It's, it's just different. And uh, beyond that, probably not going to do much outside because it is kind of a gloomy day. I do think we're going to get some rain. Um, I tweaked my back on Friday. Well, I woke up on Friday with, with some back pain. And it's okay. I've been taking some anti-inflammatories and stuff, but it's just bothering me enough that I don't want to really do too much today. I did a lot yesterday and, and paid for it last night. Um, so I'm just going to rest that. Uh, maybe putter around here a little bit. Maybe maybe clean up that bench behind me, which is a nightmare. And uh, I got a stem that I'm working on that I'm probably not going to do too much with because the filing motion is going to set that off. But yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a slow and easy Sunday, which is probably the way things are supposed to be. So good stuff coming. We'll, we'll be talking about the Warhorse uh, War Horse Bar next week, and uh, it's going to be interesting because I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm going to actually go back because I know I did an impression video of Warhorse Ready Rub at some point. I think this is different. I think there's a, a very big difference between this and the ready rub so it's going to be an interesting interesting thing and uh, of course we'll be back with another live stream on Friday it's we, we had a blast uh, this past Friday and uh, you know choosing the tobacco was fun it's uh, it's a little odd to just I, I pick three tins and I say you know you tell me which one and they vote on it and then it's a little odd to not know what you're going to be smoking. Uh, to leave it up to other folks. But yeah, it, it always works out. Well, except for when it doesn't, and then we just throw it away. All right. Anyway, I'm going to let you get off to your Sunday, and I will get off to mine. I hope you do have a fantastic day, and, and uh, looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. So goodbye now.